Hello. How are you doing? Do you miss me? Yeah. Do you know where I am? I'm on a boat. I'm on a huge boat in the Red Sea. I miss you and I miss mummy and your sister and my chickens. What is it like being on the Ocean Explorer? Well, it's amazing. It's got a helicopter on the front and it's got submarines in a garage. You know, there's a big garage on the back, like where Daddy keeps his motorbikes. It's full of submarines. Were you scared of the um, the submarine like collapsing under the pressure of underneath the water? It did. Cro it did cross my mind. Grace, I have to go away for my work because I've chosen to study coral reefs and it frightens me to say it, but we've lost more than half of the world's coral reefs in the last 40 years. It's all dead. We haven't found one live patch the whole trip. By looking at the rocks, I'm trying to look back in time and see how the reefs have been so healthy and successful over thousands and thousands of years, but now are in such terrible, terrible shape. Hey, Grace. Can you hear me? Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Guess where I've been today? The submarine? I've been in the submarine, yes. I went down 700 meters, right to the bottom of the ocean, and you thought that being a geologist was boring. <laughs> they often call coral reefs the canary in the coal mine because the reefs themselves might be the first of many ecosystems which go in the same direction and more critical ones to life on the planet and humanity will be following shortly. It's embarrassing for me to tell you this but much of the problems which we have on the planet at the moment are down to bad decisions and bad behavior of my generation. I'm doing my best to understand what's gone wrong and propose solutions, but this is going to be a long fight. And to fix our problems is going to fall on your shoulders and the rest of your generation and your children and your children's children. Hey, Grace. Hello. Hi. Look, Hi. I'm here with my two friends. Hello. Giovanni. Hi. And Hi. Sylvia. Okay. Hi, Grace. I'm a marine scientist, you know, what is it? In particular, I'm studying corals. This one, we collected them in yesterday and this morning from around our boat, the Ocean Explorer. This one probably is one of your favorite because everyone loves that coral. In the water, they are really, really colorful and yeah. full of fishes, a lot of fishes. How old is the oldest coral you've seen? The oldest one I've personally seen was 2,100 years old. That's even older than your dad, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> they are strong, but they are fragile. So your dad is trying to preserve these places also for you, and this is really something you should yes. be proud of. These reefs were alive. They got cemented in the seafloor. This could be millions of years old. Whoa, 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 look at this. Oh my God, look at front. I hope you will treasure the planet and you will be a force for its protection and you'll bring up your children in the same way that I've tried to bring you up. And with that, we will have a better Earth to live in and all of this time away on the ship will have been worthwhile. <laughs>